Well, welcome to another Seek Out the Adventure video where we hope to inspire you to seek out your own adventures in your life. But you know what time it is? It is time to guess where's Waldo. As you can see from the previous clip, we have parked Waldo in the middle of Idaho where there's snow and we've decided to take the contents out of Waldo, stuff them into packs, and now we're packing them in to a yurt. So this is your chance. Where are we? Where's Waldo? Or where did Waldo take us? So, so only, the only guesses we can give you is we're in Idaho, central region, we're up in the mountains, and we're staying at a yurt. Closest one to guess it gets one of our new Seek Out the Adventure decals that they can put on their car, their water bottle, what have you. We may even give people stickers just for guessing. So get out a map and try to figure out where we are in central Idaho. We want to follow the Rip and Tear trail. Rip and Tear. Hey Bryson, are you carrying the heaviest pack? I think so. I was almost lucky. Big hammer. Is that Thor's hammer? You know who Thor is, right? He has a big hammer. Okay, march on. You guys found the yurt? Yeah. Now we gotta go back down and get us out. Alright, we found it. The Senate View Yurt. There's another hint for you guys. Where are we? Where can you find a Senate View Yurt in central Idaho? Hey, where are you running off to? I'm saying we're Ow. over a rainbow. Why are you in a swimsuit barefoot in the snowy mountains? Because we're going to go Ow. to a sauna. Ow. Ouch. Aren't you supposed to be at a swimming pool dressed like that? We're not going to the, a swimming pool. There's this one place that's called the sauna that right there. That can warm you up and it's supposed to make you sweat. Alright, time to warm up. Please, please, that's good for me now. Ha ha! Look up! Look, ready? Uh, I'm gonna put it on the blobble spot. You guys sweating yet? No, I am. Yeah, a little bit more. How is that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. These uh, these yurts the share one sauna. This one is just a short little walk from this the uh, yurt that we're staying at. This whole yurt trip, this is all happening on Thanksgiving Day. We are going to enjoy a Thanksgiving meal um, inside a yurt. What do you guys think of that? Awesome. We've got turkey. We've got stuffing. We've oh, got gravy, mashed potatoes. And and oh, and cooking. pie. Can't forget about pie. Look over there. He's in the Are we having a baby for dinner? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are they doing? doing? Fire warm. I said that a few walks. Ow, that chair is 
All right, here's a 360 tour of the yurt. This is where we're spending Thanksgiving day and night. All right, Maxon's gonna show us where a cool sledding hill is. So let's follow him through the trees. Problem is he can't remember where it's at. <laughs> So hopefully we can find our way back. Okay, show me how it works. The first time that I did this one, I went down, I went straight through the middle of those trees. Mm -hmm. I went all the way down there. Hi, my name is Max and I know how to spin a sled. A slippery sled. It goes like this and spins around. He's practicing to be a sign salesman. That's what he's gonna do for a living. <laughs> Forget his basketball career. He's going for sign spinning. <laughs> show it show us, Maxton. Spin it! Woo! Look at that! He's going places. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. So they built it up on these stilts. But it's super pretty. There's lots to see up here, lots to do. We just sat in a sauna today and went sledding. And you can do sled spins. And sled spins. Just look at the mountains. So pretty. you what we're gonna have for dinner. So here we have our turkey. And then we're gonna have some mashed potatoes just like normal. We have some corn. We have some gravy. That's kind of dark right there. Gravy. I did forget the rolls. Um, But that's gonna be our things. Oh, and stuffing. And pie. Yummy, yummy pie. If you watch the song so is this gonna be fun having a weird Thanksgiving in a yeah. yurt? Yeah. It's gonna be super fun. She thought we'd be freezing in the yurt the whole time, but Naomi is able to withstand the temperatures. With in only Arizona. one sock on. Mm -hmm. It's quite comfortable in here right now. It is, it's really warm. It's feeling Don't really open good. The door. Close the door. <laughs> All right, Thanksgiving dinner in the yurt. Look at this. Mommy knows how to make sure you get Thanksgiving meal no matter where you go. And guess whose first Thanksgiving meal this is? Hi, Are we going to let you lick a piece of turkey just for the yeah. sake of it? I'll let her lick mine. All right, well, this is the end of our yurt trip. But we want to know something. Have you guys ever stayed in a yurt, especially with kids? If you have or haven't, uh, leave a comment down below in the comments section. We'd just like to know what your experience has been or your curiosity of having never done it. If you have any questions of what it's like, also leave those in the comments and we'll try to answer them for you. But right now, I'd like to get each of the kids and even mom to give their review of what it was like for their first time in a yurt. We're gonna do one thing that you thought was awesome and one thing that you didn't like. One thing that I like about it is there is snow and we can play in it. The thing that I liked about um, to, to go to the sauna is that we could play outside <laughs> and game. Bryson, do you mean the yurt? The yurt. The yurt. <laughs> 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 Oops. And so one thing that I don't like about it is because there we're sleeping out in the forest and I don't really like sleeping out in the forest because I don't 
We never know if there's like a wolf or mm -hmm. a snow. Yeah, that can be scary. One okay, what's one thing you like? Snow? One thing I like about the year is usually they they are by saunas, but one thing I don't like about the year is when it's winter and then you're walking to the sauna, it's really cold, but then it but then the sauna feels better. One thing I like about the year is that it's small and it feels enclosed, which I like. One thing I don't like is the sleeping. I slept terrible. Was it because it was cold or uncomfortable? I don't know. I didn't have a pillow. I like the yurt because um, I can throw snowballs at my brother. Um, one thing that I liked about the yurt is that it stayed pretty warm. I was actually surprised. That was the one negative thing I thought I wouldn't like when I came. I was like, oh, it's going to be so cold. But it actually stayed pretty toasty, and I really, I had to even take off my sweatshirt in the night because it was so warm. The one thing that I don't like is that I had to walk in the cold to go to the bathroom. So it seems like amongst the kids, the consensus was they liked that it was out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's usually associated with snow, so they were able to just run around, throw snowballs, try to sled. And then the consensus of what they didn't like is that it can be a little scary out in the middle of the woods. It uh, might not be as comfortable because you might not pack everything that you need for a good night's sleep. And one thing that I liked was that it is closed quarters. Like it's just one small open area. And so it forced all of us to be together. There were no rooms like in a cabin or a house where you can just get away from each other. It forced us to have quality time together. And we played games. I read some stories. It's been forever since I've read stories to these older boys. Yeah, it got dark. And so around seven or eight, we went to bed. And next thing we know, we're waking up in the middle of the night, what we thought was the middle of the night. And it was 10 o'clock. <laughs> so we're like, oh, we still have a whole night in front of us. So yeah, if you've never been to a yurt before, it's definitely worth trying out. If you're a little intimidated by it, try to find one that you can drive up to. This one was only like a mile hike in. It does require a little bit of planning when you have to hike in because you got to think about your sleeping bags and your food and all that kind of stuff. But so much fun. Thumbs up for the yurt. Yeah. Thumbs up for the yurt. Definitely a good adventure for the family. Get out there and try it. Which way do we go? It snowed a few inches on us, so we're hoping that we can find the trail once again. Andy decided to be a chum and take the sled for us. We'll see how he does. He's our mule today. Check it out. Out in the middle of nowhere. I bet you guys are just aching to know where we're at. We won't tell you because you got to guess. Should we tell them yet where we're at? If you haven't guessed by now, you're missing out. How's little Naomi doing? Hi, baby. You liking it? Yeah. We just crazy for taking you out on all these things? Everything's okay with a little chupetta. All right, we feel a little nice, and so we're going to give you another hint. The trailhead for the yurts starts at the Galena Lodge. The Galena Lodge is also the place that owns the yurts and rents them out. So, if you haven't guessed already, what is the city that is the closest to Galena Lodge? Put that in your comment as your answer, and you might just win. So, we've given you lots of hints now. Let's see if you can guess where it is and win a sticker from us. What? Nothing. Nothing? Don't want to say it in the camera? Oh, your ice I ball. Can't. 